This year we want to do something really special that no one has ever done before at a conference, and that is set up a manufacturing line in the actual lobby of the conference. And to do that, we've partnered with some great companies like Seed Studio, Formlabs, Protomold, and Dynastream um, in order to make an actual IoT wearable device. And I'm here in Industry Lab in Cambridge, Massachusetts, working with Marcelo Coelho to figure out how we're actually going to be doing this. The work that I do is a sort of a combination of art and interactive technology-based work. We're working now in this really cool wearable device that's called Alike uh, that allows people to network and meet others during events. And that's the really cool partnership that we're doing with Solid Now, which is uh, this little bands we're wearing right now. Um, they are really cool because they can talk to each other. So we can have a lot of them around us right now and they'll all be talking and exchanging information. But when you get them close together, they'll compare their unique profiles. It's a nice thing to have at a conference where you want to, you know, have a quick way of breaking the ice with people and figuring out how to, how to network better. That's what we're trying to achieve, is like create a technology that creates this icebreaker that allows you to get close to people and be like, hey, you know, what do we have in common? 20 years ago, if you wanted to make a connected device, you had to work in a large company and have access to very expensive machine tools and fabrication facilities and a large budget to get things prototyped and done. Now we have tools like low-cost 3D printers. We have easy access resources about how to do electronics online. We have access to cheap and fast injection molding through companies like Protomold. And so like more and more people are being able to come up with ideas and get them made and just send design files off, you know, whether it's to Seed Studio in China or whether it's to Protomold in the US or whether it's to a fabricator here in Cambridge, we can more easily mobilize and work with teams all around the world. And so we're really excited about doing the pop-up factory at Solid to show people like what it actually takes to take a pile of raw components on one side and have hot, fresh circuit boards, connected devices yeah. coming out on the other side. At the Solid conference, we're gonna have Seed Studio um, is gonna be coming with an assembly line of electronics equipment and be actually assembling some boards. And we're also gonna have form labs there with a wall of 3D printers making custom generated enclosures. However, at that show, that type of equipment can only handle a throughput of several hundred over the course of the conference. So in order to make enough wristbands for everyone, we're gonna to need to go to China and work with Seed Studio's main facility there. What's really interesting about the South China ecosystem is that everything is there. So you can like visit all of your factories within one day's drive. You can talk to the guy who knows the guy who can go to the market to get your last minute part change. Um, everything is just a lot more agile. So things like supply chains and distributed manufacturing and small scale prototyping operations are enabling a much wider range of people to do things that they wouldn't otherwise be able to do. And we're really interested in looking at these types of technologies.